Hello to all of our Carnival family, both on board and those of you at home. I hope you and your families are doing well. And while I wish I would be talking with you in person on a Carnival cruise ship, I'm grateful that we've had this opportunity to stay in touch via these video updates. So today, I wanna to let you know where things stand currently. As you know, we spent much of the back half of 2020 writing new protocols and thinking about how we would operationalize those protocols and procedures as part of a return to cruise operations. However, the approval of not one, but two vaccines in December began to change the way the pandemic was being managed and how the return to cruising might be shaped. Fast forward to February. We now have additional vaccines coming online, including a single dose solution. And in the US, the new Biden administration's COVID plan includes a focused effort to ramp up vaccine production and distribution. Consequently, the goal of getting more people vaccinated quickly has appropriately taken priority. And with the news that the vaccine will be widely distributed and available to most Americans starting this spring, there is a growing sense that many activities, including cruising, will be able to find a secure route to return. Meanwhile, we must continue to deal with the extended pause and we have now canceled all cruises through the month of May. We've established new dry dock dates for eight of our ships, which will delay their return until the second half of 2021. And in Australia, our pause will go on until at least the end of June. We've also communicated to our booked guests that we're giving them options to cancel and incentives to retain their reservation as we continue to work through the pause in the US. We know this situation has been incredibly difficult for all of you who are an integral part of the Carnival Cruise Line family. At this point, the only firm commitment I can make is to continue to keep you informed as things develop. Even if it's just a chat like this, telling you what we know or what we don't know. The good news is that Carnival Corporation continues to be a financially sound company. We were fortunate to enter into this situation with a very strong balance sheet, and that has allowed us to raise additional capital and financing to enable us to get through this extended pause while maintaining our position as a leader in the global cruise industry. Throughout this pause, we have continued to stay focused on our responsibilities to health, safety, and environmental protection as we take care of our crew and the communities we visit. And a special shout out to our team members on board who have done a remarkable job making enhancements and maintaining our fleet with fresh paint and deep cleaning to the installation of new food digesters that will better enable us to manage food waste. We've also been hard at work implementing improvements in areas like voyage planning and the provisioning of spare parts and supplies. Our teams are busy putting into action even more efforts to support our culture and our new culture framework that encourages our team members to speak up, to embrace our diversity and enhance our culture with our culture values. Meanwhile, we continue to plan for the future. Our new Mardi Gras ship will be arriving in the U.S. soon. We've broken ground on a new terminal at Port Miami to get ready for the delivery of Carnival Celebration in 2022. She will be our next XL class ship coming in time for our 50th anniversary. 16 of our ships remain in U.S. waters following the CDC requirements so that we can get back to cruising just as soon as we are able. And our bookings for 2022 and beyond are very solid and demonstrate the continued support from a Carnival Cruises and the pent up demand that we know is out there once cruising can resume again. 
We also know that many of you have been asking about the vaccine. We do not have any details yet on whether it will be required or if, how and when we might be able to secure vaccines for our crew. What I can say at this time is that if you're able to get a vaccine in your home country, that you should do so, if only to protect yourself and the health of you and your family members. We'll keep you posted as things develop, but clearly things look brighter today than they did at the start of the year. I'll be back in touch with you again soon. In the meantime, please keep the faith and thank you for all of your dedication and support to Carnival Cruise Line and to each other. We will be back.